Hi, I'm Jay Johnson, President and CEO of WindowPurchase.com. I'm also the author of two books on Windows, How to Shop for Windows and Doors, and What Window Companies Don't Want You to Know. Now available on my website, WindowPurchase.com, there's a new PDF version condensed version. It went from about 150 pages in the paperback down to a 63 page PDF version of the book that gives you a specific list of questions to ask the companies that come out regardless of what type of window or what type of framing system they're using as well as other stuff. So one of the other things I want to go over for the hint of the day in the book I call it installation FAQs. Now there's a list of about 30 things 20 to 24 of them have to do with installation. Um, then when you get to the back, it's called what else is included and what's not. And then some of those questions also go into whether or not you're dealing with an association. And then another question has to do if you're dealing with an historical property or historical home. But one of the ones that really jump out to me that I run into all the time is, and this is one of the bulletin points on that sheet in the book, if the dealer changes the brand of the window they sold you, are they still responsible for servicing your windows you bought from them even though they no longer carry that brand? This is a huge issue and let me walk you through why. If you are a dealer and you want to install some windows and you don't make your own, well you got to go get them somewhere. So you call up a manufacturer and you say, hi, I'm Joe Blow. I'm thinking of carrying your windows. Your concern as a dealer is going to be how much you can buy those windows for. What will that manufacturer wholesale them out to you for? The manufacturer's main concern, because they're building the windows to be sold to dealers, which means it, it can't be that good of a window if they're building it to wholesale out to dealers. It just can't. But their main concern is the manufacturer, Joe Blow, how many of my windows will you be able to sell in the next year? Because if there's 10 or 20 other guys in the same area selling that brand and their top dealer sold 10,000 windows last year and their second top dealer sold 8,000 and their third top dealer sold 6,000, so on and so forth, and you're on the phone about to say, well, I think I could sell 500 to 1,000. First of all, you're not going to get the same wholesale price they are, but you'll be walking into the same homes and competing with the same brand, and you'll have to sell it for a higher price. So here's what happens at the end of the year. If you don't meet your quota, either you will get dumped by the manufacturer, or the manufacturers say, well, you didn't really meet your quota, so now instead of getting the windows for this much, we got to charge this much. Now either you suck it up and you start paying more wholesale for the window, or you say, well, you know, that's really more than I want to pay for the windows. Thanks, but no thanks. And now you're out shopping for another manufacturer. Most dealers don't want to come back and service stuff they used to carry or the stuff they used to sell. If they say that they will come back and do it, yeah, I don't care if it was five windows ago. If they've changed manufacturers four times since you bought, and they're telling you when you're about to sign that contract that they will come back and fix anything they've sold you, then have it in writing on the contract. Because I'm telling you right now it ain't going to happen. And here's the other thing. Even if it is writing on the contract, you're taking one person's word for it's going to happen. Well, guess what? People die. People get sick. People get injured. People take vacations. People move away. The dude might not even be around by the time that happens, even if they meant to make good on it. Anyway, that's the tip of the day. Check out the website, windowpurchase.com. I'm Jay Johnson. Get the book. Again, when you get the book, you'll get an email where you can create your own passcode and go on and you can download the book. You can access all the pictures, all the videos, and you can see a lot of the good, the bad, and the ugly pictures. Thanks again. Tune in again for my next tip.